Hey everybody, happy Monday! Monday, June 22nd. Getting a little hand cream on so you don't see my wrinkly, awful hands. My nails look bad enough. Hope you all had a good weekend and an awesome Father's Day. We kind of celebrated our Father's Day on Friday. I do not have my microphone plugged in today, so if you if you can't hear me, let me know, and I'll talk a little louder. I didn't um, use my microphone. I'm kind of thinking it's not doing that much difference, but um, today we're going to do a fun three-dimensional project using a new bundle from the new catalog, so I'm kind of excited about that. It's kind of um, similar to what we did last week with the milk cartons. Um, we're going to make another milk carton, but it's going to be bigger. And um, we'll get started here in a minute. I'll give people time to log on. If you could just give me a thumbs up if you just turn the sound up a bit. Okay. Hi, Chris. Hi, Donna. Um, I mean, I could hook it up and let's, let's see. You guys tell me if it makes a difference. When I listen to the replay, it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of difference, but um, you tell me if it makes a difference. We got these cords, you know, like your, um, what do you call them? Your, um, your little earbud cords. Here, I'm going to plug this in and We'll see if it makes a difference. And then I think I have to think it's good. Okay. I'm going to tell it up here what I'm doing on the audio. See, right now it's just saying built in microphone, so it's not even recognizing this one. We'll just go with the flow today. I need to do a little bit more research on sound because my sound could be better. Like I said, when I watch my my replays, <laughs> the sound sounds a little a little soft. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera down around. This is the little project we're going to make today. It's a little birdhouse, milk carton birdhouse. But I wanted to mention that today is June 25th. So are there 30 days in September, April, May, April, June, and November? Are there 30 or 31 days in June? Um, the end of June is the end of the um, Pick a Free Bundle promotion for joining Stampin' Up! So if you have ever thought about joining um, Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator, you don't have to do what I do. I, I do it as a part-time business. Some people do it as a hobby. Um, they just get a discount on all their stuff. And there's no obligation. You, you usually are able to... Um, anyway, if you're interested, tag me, message me, and I'd love to talk to you about it. I'd love to have you on my team. The June Hostess Code, if you place an order with me this month of $30 or more, your name will go into a drawing for this stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set. It's a real fun uh, stamp set to make different scenes out of, and I think it'll be fun for fall and Christmas, but it works for all seasons. There's flowers and leaves and snow. So use the June Hostess Code when placing an order online with me at leslie.com at stampinup.net. Okay, and there's the hostess code too if you need a reminder. All right, we're going to make this little, um, oh, one more thing. I was going to show the cards 
This Thursday is the last day to register for the um, June Card Class to Go um, kit. It includes the By the Shore, By the Dock stamp set, which uh, I don't have it close by, and the coordinating dies. Um, if you have this set, you can just order the class without the product or um, order the whole thing and make these four beautiful cards. They're very masculine. I thought June, Father's Day. And I didn't, I didn't have a chance to play with this stamp set um, with the spring catalog, so I was really glad that Stampin' Up! carried it over. So if you need more information about the class, you can go to my blog, theplaidpoodle.com, and click on Online Classes. Okay? Oh, and I wanted to say thank you to Karen Aiken. She sent me a little thank you card. Isn't that adorable? It's got the mason jar, very on trend. She had won a gift in the um, um, what do you call it? The um, open house, and she was so sweet to send me a thank you card. I just thought that was so cute. So I I have a bulletin board here, and I always hang up my little cards from y'all up on my bulletin board. Alrighty, let's get started on the little birdhouse. I thought these would be cute little, um, I would fill it with probably a cellophane bag of wrapped candy and maybe a gift card. I'm going to show you how we're, we're going to do it so that you can open the box without ruining the whole shebang. <laughs> but I also wanted to show you this that I had made in my open house. It's a little... Um, votive the battery operated votive candle holders you just stick it in there and it shines through the vellum so i use the set for that so for some reason this set speaks to me in three-dimensional <laughs> um, projects we'll get to cards i'm sure eventually so what we're going to do um, this is the stamp set there are no verses on it but it's full of fun little um the nest the branches the bird's wings, and then this is the coordinating dies, the birds and more dies. So you get all of those dies with the bundle. And when you purchase both as a bundle, you save 10%. And I use this die for our um, votive holder. I kind of was thinking on using it on this one, but our, our birdhouse would be so big that I switched it up a little bit. So that's what we're using to make our little birdhouse treat holder. These are kind of fun to sit on like your windowsill in your kitchen and, and look out, look at. To start with, you're going to need a piece of 10 and a half by 7 um, cardstock. And I'm using the... Um, Oh, I'm so bad with these colors, y'all. It's one of the in colors, excuse my reach, but it's last year's in color that did not retire. I like it. It's, it's a seaside spray. It's a real pretty light blue, real spring blue. So on the 10 inch side, I've gone ahead and um, did my line so I don't mess up on camera because you know how I like to do that. I have a little cheat sheet here. But on the 10 and a half inch side, you score it at a half an inch, three inches, five and a half, eight inches, and then you turn it. And on this seven inch side, you score it at a half inch, two inches, and four inches. So it's real, it's basically the same thing when we made this little milk carton last Monday, but it's just a bigger scale. Okay. And I thought Wednesday I would make a card using this, this bundle. 
we'll have something to coordinate with it. And I'll have this information on my blog later. Um, I'll post it along with the video replay. So take your bone folder on your 10 and a half by seven inch piece of cardstock that we just scored and burnish all of these score lines. There's not a whole lot of trimming if you remember if you were here and watched last Monday's milk carton. Bigger is better. <laughs> Hi Mary. Bigger is better. More candy. I can put more candy in there. Okay, now I'm just going to trim off. This is the little half inch tab. So I'm going to trim off this bottom piece. And then with what's remaining, I'm going to use my little snips. I don't want to trim where I'm not supposed to. You know how I like to do this with my tabs. I just do a little, a little um, diagonal line. And this is the bottom tabs of the box. Mary Gunn, I'm going to turn in some homework. I did a bunch of, hi Letha, I did a bunch of scrapbook pages this weekend. I don't know if they'll count towards homework, but I'm turning them in. <laughs> Y'all, I go to Mary's um, fununiversity.com and it's a paid group and you belong to it and she teaches us how to do fun um a lot of scrapbooking information and card making. And I did a lot of, um, she's inspired me to scrapbook and I printed, ended up printing probably a hundred pictures. Um, but I didn't get that many, <laughs> um, that many scrapped, but, and I did cheat a little bit. I was at a crop on Saturday and I bought a couple kits that were just perfect for some of my pictures. So, um, and I'll be sharing my pictures on my, on my Facebook page too for y'all. <laughs> okay. Now that we've trimmed everything, we've trimmed our bottom tabs and we've trimmed the side tab. I'm going to put our, um, designer series paper on each panel, all the four panels, and I did not cut these ahead of time. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I'm getting this from the 2020 um, in color six by six designer series papers, and I'm using the y'all you know, misty moonlight. <laughs> So each of these panels should be, I think they're two and a half by two and a half. Yeah, so I'm gonna do four two and a fourth by two and a fourth inch squares. So you get to watch me cut, but I did a lot of die cutting ahead of time, so I won't bore you with all the die cutting. I think we just have to die cut one thing. So it doesn't take too much, um, designer series paper because you just need four little two and a fourth by two and a fourth inch squares. Hopefully I have enough. Otherwise the back of our, yeah, the back of our, I just keep using this and it's like the jar of oil in the Bible. I just keep having enough and having enough. <laughs> That's not cheating, Mary. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, whatever the student showcase is, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but you can use it. I won't be embarrassed. <laughs> If you scrapbook, give me a, a thumbs up. I because I wonder how many of you who are on right now scrapbook. I've 
been scrapbooking since 1995. And then my pictures kind of got away from me, as they do. And they're all on your phone, so you don't think about them. I'm just wondering how many, uh, okay, we got some thumbs up. So there's some scrapbookers out there. Because, I, you know, I've been thinking about, I'll share my scrapbook pages that I did this weekend, but I've been thinking about maybe doing a process video with, with how I go about it. Which is usually going on Pinterest and copying someone else's kind of how they laid everything out. <laughs> But if you go to Mary, uh, fununiversity.com, you can copy Mary's layouts. <laughs> okay, there's our four panels. Not anymore, Letha. It is, it, is, it is so much fun. I always am so relaxed and happy when I do, do it. And usually when I go to crops, I do work. I prepare for, for things like this. This square looks like I cut it a little short, but it'll be on the back. <laughs> Um, and I decided this Saturday at the crop, I was going to just have fun. And I did, I did scrapbooking. Um, okay. We want to cut out our little, um, door for our birdhouse. So determine where the front is. I always like to have my tab in the back. And then, um where the sides are going to be. So this is going to be our front. And just like we did on Monday, to help it out a little bit, find the center of these two panels and use your stylus to make a diagonal line from the middle of the panel right up here to this corner. And that's going to make our little carton. So you need to do two of those. It's just going to help us later to bend everything how it's supposed to be. Sorry, I forgot about that. And then I just kind of bend them, loosen up that paper, break down some of the fiber. I don't know if I burnished these. Did I burnish the horizontal lines? I don't think I did. Oh, thank you, Mary. There's Mary's um, website. If you're interested in her and she is on there all the time I can't believe how much she works okay now we want to put our window in this panel this is going to be because this is going to be our roof we don't want it in the straight panel we want it in this one so I'm going to take the smallest circle die from the um, layering circle dies And I'm going to put it right in the middle of that square. And then I'm going to just use a little washi tape. And this is kind of fun to try and fit all this in the die cutting machine, but I'll show you how I did it. It's where there's a will, there's a way. So what I'm going to do is fold these tabs forward. This one won't cut. It'll, it'll have an indention in, and you can see, see that. It just looks like a seal of approval. <laughs> and then we're going to put our plate on, and it's going to be a little thick rolling through your, um, your die cutting machine. But not too bad. 
because you've got that extra layer on there. I tell you, I went to that crop and I'm I'm so excited for Stampin' Up! to come out with that mini, mini die cutting machine, an embossing machine, because it would have been so much easier to take with me than the um the big old thing. <laughs> I don't go to very many crops because I don't like to take Saturdays away from my husband. And, but once in a while, and I needed it, so I met a friend over there, and we had a good day. Okay, so here's our um, box. We're going to put it back together, so we're going to take our tab here, and you can use, like, uh, tear and tape. I would use a very strong adhesive, though. I'm using the multi-purpose liquid glue. And I'm just kind of folding it in half and, and adhering that tab to this back side. That's going to make our, our little box. And there's the front. So I'm going to determine where the front is. And just glue these bottom flaps. You know, I always like to, to tuck my front flap in last. So there's just a smooth, there's no um, edge there. And then you can kind of use your bone folder. Well, see, that's a nice size little box. Of course, you're going to have the lid. But that's why I said I would probably put... Um, a cellophane bag uh, with some little candy in there and maybe a gift card or just a candy. Depends. Depends. Um, I forgot to put the window sheet on. I did ahead of myself. You could use some vellum. You could even just use some black cardstock and put over that, uh, put under the the little hole, but I thought if I put some candy in here, it would be cute showing through the window. So I'm just going to take some mini glue dots. This would have been easier if I would have done it <laughs> before we put it together, but we can still do it. And I'm going to tuck that in there. I don't know if you can tell. There it is. I just used some mini glue dots, too. Um, I've got glue all over it, but we'll, we'll rub that off in a little later. Okay, and then we're going to tuck in these sides. It's going to be a little stiff at first. you got to just kind of work it. And then so you can take it apart without really destroying your birdhouse. I went ahead and did two um, punches with the, um, I don't know if this is going to work. I didn't use that one on, I just used my paper piercer. And I think I'm going to wait till I get my lid on or my, my roof on. <laughs> and um, I paper pierced it and then I followed up with uh a paper puncher but you can have I would say what's really handy to have to close these while you're working on it is one of these little things or a close pin okay so for the front let's do the roof first my box is a little wonky there we go okay for the front, we're going to do a little stamping, just a little scrap of Whisper White, and I'm using the bird stamp, 
and the little heart stamp. And I'm using Flirty Flamingo. Kind of a fun little pink color. I love birds. And then we want to die cut these out and we also want to die cut the, um, the little branch, which is one of the dies that comes with the, the birds and more die set. I use this, this die and through the magic of television, I already cut it out and I also already cut out the bird and the heart. So you have to watch all that. So that's what we're going to put on the front and a little circle, um, scallop circle around the window, a little frame, a little window frame. We got a fancy, a classy, we got a classy birdhouse here. <laughs> <laughs> and how I did that was I took the smallest um, circle die and then I think this is the second smallest um, scalloped oval die from the layering ovals and I made a little frame for the window so we're just gonna glue that on there I don't know what I do without my um, Oh, well, thank you, Stephen. He's such a professional. <laughs> That's a nice compliment. I've been doing this for a while. I'm just not very good at it. Um, okay, so we're just going to glue that on there. My box is still a little wonky. All right, now I'm going to just put my little things on here. See, we've die cut these out already. My bird and my heart. And I just glued these on. She has a little heart in the top of her birdhouse. Okay, and then the little branch here. I think I cut one off. I didn't want it to cover up my my bird door. My house door. The birds. So I just trimmed one off. I don't know if I needed to, but I did. So then I'm just going to put a little liquid glue. Once this stuff dries, it's, it holds really well. I like this glue. I put a little bit more under here. There we go. Okay. And then I just put the bird on with a Stampin' Dimensional. Stuck her right on the branch. Like that. Okay. Now for the roof, I used the, um, whatever it's called. <laughs> Usually y'all, I have a list sitting here to remind me what everything's called. My brain is just not as good as it used to be. I used to could remember everything. It is called the Pinewood Planks 3D Embossing Folder. It's a favorite of mine. 
I like to use it a lot. We're using it on one of our cards um, in this month's card class to go. I did it on some soft suede on the background of this card. I don't know if you can see because of the cellophane package, but <clears throat> I like it. I use it a lot. Okay, and then I'm I use, I'm using a piece of this is three by five, and it's the flirty flamingo. And I went ahead and ran it through the. This is what the die looks like, and I ran it through. I spritz it with a little water. When they're the 3D ones, I spritz it with a little water so it's dried and everything, and you get a deeper impression when you do that. I don't know what the water does, but you get a deeper impression. Then I scored that down the middle. I don't trust myself to know it, <laughs> so I'm gonna use my thing. It's two and a half inches. I'm going to use my scoring blade. And fold it in half. And then I added a little gingerbread trim here. And these were cut with a die uh, from a retired set. But you may have a border punch similar, or um, there are a couple of die sets in the new catalog that, that, that does have, that do have kind of that scalloped trim. And I just put a little adhesive on the inside here. As I told you, this is a classy birdhouse. <laughs> so we got a little bit of trim. We got a little pretty little trim. Whoever designed this, our architect added some extras. What do they call that? It's not builder grade, it's uh, something else. <laughs> when you're building a house and you you get the extras. <sighs> Words escape me all the time. So I just did, these are each three inches long. I cut, I cut a strip out of a half inch using that die. And I'm adhering them to the bottom of my roof. We're just about done. Now this is the tricky part because I wanted my person, my recipient, we probably should have did this last, but we'll figure it out, um, to be able to open it and then have it to set around um, afterwards, not have to tear it open after all this work. So I took, um, put my roof on, and I'm using this little clip to make sure I got, it hangs over the same in the front and the back. Yeah. And then I took my paper piercer. And on each side of this little banana clip, what do you call these things? <laughs> Clippy thing. I just poked a hole. one was almost too close to the edge and then I took just a paper punch there it is to make it look pretty because now I've done all the hard work and it just kind of see I've got this jaggedy looking hole over here and now I've got more a neater one over here and since I did the the work with the um, paper piercer, my paper punch will will punch through. Okay, and you might want to still use your um, 
clippy thing to hold that everything together while you put a ribbon. I put a ribbon on one side and I it looked weird, so I put one on each side. <laughs> and I'm using the new Baker's Twine. I think I'm using the new Baker's Twine. Oh, it's right here. Um, right in front of my face. And what I did is I just tied one bow on one side. Hi, Laura. Well, enjoy the ball game. Yeah, it'll be up later. We get all the stuff. Okay, there we go. Once we get this one done, the other one will be easy. I'll try and do this so you can see what I'm doing. I don't think you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's too hard to do it that way, y'all. I'll show you when I'm done here. I think I want it to be tighter. You know me and my bows. I'm going to a ball game tomorrow evening. My little grandson is playing t-ball this year. A five-year-old. They're so much fun. So there's the bow on that side. And now I'm just going to take a strand. What's going on here? Y'all, look what I did. That won't work, will it? I'm gonna... There we go. Live television, I tell ya. I love it. <laughs> well, it's probably not going to fit. So what I'm going to do for this one is just put it together for you. But you get the gist, right? <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> oh, I don't pretend to be perfect. I should mention the crop I went to, just for our purposes. I'm just gonna staple this since um, I've kind of screwed the holes up now. Um, I should say that, and I'm gonna put a little glue on the side. This is just gonna be a decorator one. But you get the gist if you want it to be able to, op to open and close. If you want to put something in it. We're just going to use this for my studio decor. <laughs> we'll use this one to put treats in. Um, at the crop I went to, it was, uh, we all had our own eight foot table. Hi, Joy. Thank you. 
we all had our own eight foot table and we were six feet apart from each other. We were very well spaced in this big giant room um, and they usually have a hot, a, um, what do you call it? A um, potluck, but we, we didn't do the potluck. Everybody just kind of went out and got their own food. So we played it real safe. It was at the VFW Hall in Lenexa. All right. And then I should have probably already put the other bow in too. So I'm going to just put it on different. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know how perfect I need everything to be. It's driving me nuts. This one's perfect. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> this one will be perfect too when I get done. <laughs> For some reason, my bow wants to be funky. We'll, we'll come back to that one. For this other side, I'm just going to put a bow on with a glue dot. So that... There's a bow on each side. And then we have one more thing to stamp. We're going to stamp the little sign there. Our little birdhouse has a welcome sign. I never thought of putting a welcome sign there. I wanted something that when you looked at it, it inspired you. Because I'm going to set this probably in my kitchen, kitchen by my kitchen sink where I spend most of my time, a lot of my time. So, to remind me to enjoy today. <laughs> Okay, there's a somewhat perfect bow. <laughs> now, I'm just going to glue this one on with a little mini glue dot. Keeps the gossip down. <laughs> oh, we sat by the funniest lady. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of gossip, <laughs> it was a fun day. I haven't done, you know, we haven't been with people in so long. We probably don't know how to act anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I've got a bow on each side. See how I did that? It just looked weird with just one bow to close it up. So the final thing is this enjoy today. And I took that from the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. It's just a simple little enjoy today. And I typed it on, or typed it. I stamped it on a 3 8 inch um, strip of Whisper White. And I didn't want you to have to watch me try and get it straight on a 3 inch a strip of whisper white. So I went ahead and did it ahead of time. And then I just flag the ends. Kind of.
There we go. And I took my bone folder. I like to do this. It's just kind of curl it. Curl the end so it looks like the wind's blowing. And the, the it's like a ribbon. Kind of curl the ends out. And a little wavy, wavy little pattern. And you could use probably a glue dot, but I just like to make it hard on myself. So I just put uh, some glue on this little, I didn't want the glue dot to show on the roof. So I just put a little strip of glue right here on the roof. And like I said, this glue is really, it has, it has holding power. See, that one's on there. I'm not going to get rough with it, but it's on there after it dries. Okay, that is the project. I think they're adorable. And there's the little roof with the gingerbread trim and the, the wood planks. So, you all. Thank you for stopping by, and um, I'll be back Wednesday. I'm going to do a card to kind of coordinate with this, or I'm going to use the stamp set anyway. <laughs> I don't know if it'll coordinate. I was looking for some cards to show you all, some, ex some samples, but um, I think I made one card, and I can't find it. Who knew? Um, so you all have a great Monday afternoon, and we'll see you Wednesday morning. <laughs> Talk to you soon.